welcome back. Uh, Dr. Lowry here on Home Care Part 2, mainly for disabled patients who uh, would prefer to um, seek advice over home, at home and things that you probably should have uh, to take care of yourself at home. Now these are only suggestions. Some of these are topical. Some of these are um, uh, over-the-counter medications which you must review with your regular doctor. Again, I'm an internist, pulmonologist, and a critical care specialist for 35 years, and I've seen a few things, and these are a compilation of things I've used over the years uh, that have worked for my family and, and my patients. Um, first of all, uh, I mentioned um, in the introduction that everybody should have a first aid kit that has you know, a variety of things to take care of minor injuries, you know, read the ingredients to make sure it's comprehensive for you. The next, I use rubbing alcohol. Sometimes after a shower, I put some in my ears to make sure I get all the water out for people who have a tendency toward otitis media or swimmer's ear. Uh, next, on to scrapes and cuts. Um, I've used stereo strips instead of stitches for really minor wounds that are clean. Uh, and some people have used, again on the bottom left, the skin glue, uh, which can hold uh, skin together. But if it's a deep cut or a dirty cut, it probably needs um, cleansing and, uh, and, and st stitches. Now, Neosporin is always handy for uh, minor scrapes and cuts uh, that might get infected. And it's always good to take a picture of an initial cut like you see in the bottom middle there and then another picture to send to your doctor on the lower right to see if it's getting infected. That is a cellulitis and this is something that might not respond at that point uh, to neosporin or polysporin or uh, any antibiotic uh, or anti-combination um, uh, topical uh, skin product. Uh, moving on from skin, uh, we go to uh, rashes on the skin, uh, uh, irritated or uh, allergic bug bites, things that itch and you want some relief. So over-the-counter 1% hydrocortisone cream is helpful. There are higher doses that are prescription, um, so you may need to ask your physician for something stronger, but this will do. Put this on two or three times a day and uh, at night cover it with a band-aid to make sure that the cream stays on top of the itchy bump. Um, on the bottom there are all sorts of fungal infections, uh, tinea, little uh, skin infections, athlete's foot, jock itch, um, uh, also um, yeast vaginitis, but on the left you see a spray uh, myconazole cream in the middle which is good for tinea or you know uh, all sorts of athlete's foot. Um, uh, and then monostat, uh, of course, this is all over the counter for yeast infections, and that can be uh, very important. Moving on, um, I, uh, in ear care, I keep uh, uh, artificial tears handy to rinse out my eyes if I get particles or whatever. Uh, if there's an actual abrasion, you'll need to have that checked out. Um, uh, in the emergency department, that's a, like a, a continuous piece of grit or sand in your eye. In the center top there, isopropyl alcohol and ear droppers <clears throat> that I use to um, get the water out of my ears um, uh, for those who feel they're susceptible to otitis media. Finally, on the bottom, uh, I get a lot of congestion and colds in the fall and winter, and I use uh, Advil cold and sinus. Um, I prefer um, Sudafed instead of phenylephrine, as you see on the box, uh, but the phenylephrine or Sudafed, that is the decongestant, and of course the ibuprofen um, can uh, uh, shrink inflammation around your nasal passages and sinuses. I use this exclusively over antibiotics for sinus pain uh, myself. On the right, you see Benadryl uh, for hay fever and uh, uh, hives, urticaria, things that you, when you've had an allergic reaction, usually 25 milligrams uh, three times a day is enough to take the edge off and let it recede. Uh, that is the, the, the uh, allergic rash. Now, Benadryl can um, cause uh, some um, urinary retention in older men. 
Um, I might add that Advil or ibuprofen can cause an elevated blood pressure. So if you're going to take these medications, certainly get your approval from your physician. Moving on, these are appliances that I would have at home. You see the new temporal scanner on the top left, and I'm going to show you how to use that one in subsequent uh, videos. The blood pressure cuff, preferably digital, that wraps around your arm. And on the top right, you'll see a pulse oximeter, which measures your saturation, 98% there, and a pulse of 75. And I'll show you how to use that. On the bottom left, we have a, an array of tweezers, which are important. And then on the middle, uh, it's an otoscope uh, that attaches, that uh, communicates with your phone by, through Wi-Fi. And you can take pictures of uh, your or a pediatric ear canal. Uh, it seems to be a very safe device. And finally, on the bottom right, we have an ear flush device that I use um, uh, with hot, soapy water, as hot as I can stand it, to dissolve and melt any wax. I use this in the shower uh, just so the wax goes down the drain and then I use this on my children as well and it, it works really well and it'll save you a visit to the ENT and a $50 copay. Finally, a lot of people have urinary tract infections um, and <clears throat> these symptoms are pretty well known. Most women know when they have one. Although sometimes urinary frequency is not a, a, a real urinary tract infection and burning could be due to yeast vaginitis. So sometimes it's good to have these dipsticks, a bottle of 100, uh, and then you just test your urine, wait about 60 seconds, and then compare it to the test strip uh, monitor to the right. And again, I'll have more to say about this in a separate video. But that's it for today. These are just suggestions. Again, uh, run these by your physicians. Uh, some people need one more than the other. But I think this would be a, a total a home care package. I may have left things out. And I'm not covering herbal or homeopathic remedies, which a lot of people have their own tried and true uh, concoctions at home. Anyway, thanks so much. And uh, wait for the next demonstrations that will follow.